While crashing an event to support Uvalde families, Meghan Markle turned it into a selfie session for herself while Harry picked his nose. Is this appropriate behaviour at an event to remember and Meghan exploiting kids for clicks? Prince Harry and Meghan embraced the relatives of the Uvalde school shooting victims as they made a surprise trip to Texas on Saturday. Just like Harry using the veterans and Invictus to pad his pockets and score positive PR points, Meghan's doing the same with Uvalde victims. The event was hosted by Kaboom, which is one of the organisations that made a deep commitment to the community after the 2022 mass shooting at Robb Elementary. Kaboom, the city of Uvalde and the Archwell Foundation partnered together shortly after the tragedy to create a park just four blocks away from the school. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle continue bringing film crews there to support families like Leila Salazar's. Salaza, tragically, was one of the victims killed among the 21 teachers and students. Layla's survived by her father Vinny and mother Melinda. The family shared that Layla was a track star who loved TikTok and would always sing Sweet Child of Mine with her dad every morning on the way to school. The couple even sang happy birthday to the sister of heroic school teacher Irma Garcia, who sacrificed her own life during the massacre at Texas Robb Elementary School in a bid to allow her young students to get to safety. All for publicity. Using a dead woman and an innocent family to rehab her image, it's foul. A representative of the Texas Authority said that they were unaware of the couple's presence here. The film crew should have been banned from the beginning, but they weren't discovered in time. The person wrote, I'm beyond outraged Meghan and Prince Harry came with a camera crew to use the families of Uvalde's dead for publicity stunts. And equally outraged that these families allowed the couple to do this willingly posed smiling for photos that have nothing to do with sympathy, kindness and caring and everything to do with getting out into the media a false impression that they're humanitarians. If she went to Uvalde and paid her respects privately without her own film crew, nobody would have battered an eyelid if she went to someone's party. Plus, getting Harry there implicates him in the initial visit. Initially, it was just good timing for a Netflix footage. If she really cared about these people, she would have done this privately. She would have asked to keep this under wraps. She would have stood there like a lunatic holding the cake, as if she were the star. It's disgusting. In the past, Megan visited Uvalde and was there for an hour. Told that she couldn't access the murder scene, took some promotional pictures and left. Yet footage from Uvalde is prominent. This is low and crude. If Meghan and Harry are enough of a narcissist to think that the presence will somehow help people overcome an elementary school shooting, why will it only help with the one in Uvalde and not the one in Nashville? She stuck with Uvalde until the search engine results for Uvalde and Meghan Markle won't show a fake Netflix stunt on the first pages anymore. She's trying to court the Latino community and also prove that she's not the discriminatory one. She'll say that she's 62% Latino in one of her Lemonada podcasts.